let's do that again. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Thomas Shante, uh, America's favorite banana. Let's make banana ketchup. It's a Filipino dish? Filipina, we're gonna make that because it's banana month. Hope you've been enjoying banana month. Here's the exciting conclusion to the episode. Brittany's my, my, my photographer. You can do it really fast too. Is it on autofocus? It should be. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, <laughs> I gotta heat up a saucepan. This is a saucepan, not a pot. That's a different, apparently. Um, I'm gonna put a little oil in this. I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm just gonna, ooh, that's probably too much. This cooking is all about experimentation. Let's put in some garlic, because everyone loves garlic, and I think it calls for garlic, so I'm gonna do it anyway. And we get the big thing, immense garlic, because we use it all the time. Right, Brittany? Yeah. Say it louder. Yes. Cool. Plop that in there, ba-boom. Clean up as you go is my helpful tip when cooking. Next, let's put in an onion. I already chopped it because I didn't want people to judge me. That's already sizzling. Put it at medium heat and don't think too hard. Uh. No. What? My wooden spoon. Uh. Oh. Plastic spoon. Hear that sizzle? I'm probably going way too fast because I didn't measure everything. Because I wanted you to see it. Zoom in. We're just zoomed in too much. Zoom out! Onion! I chopped up a whole tiny little onion. It's uh, fairly well done, I guess. Already regretting things. I need this. Go all out. For a bit. I have it on four, but you know your own stove better. A jalapeno. I didn't wash the sauce. So. Let's cut up this thing. I'm not using one recipe. I'm using like seven. How do they... Rachel, how do you do it? It's okay, at the end, this comes into play. This is not the right knife for it, but I don't want to use more than one. What are you doing? I'm chopping up this. What do you mean? Here's a life tip, sometimes a cooking tip. Sometimes you don't have to do it all that seriously. <laughs> this, you can, you can take your time. I know that some chefs will watch this and they'll say, close the tab. I'm gonna put the jalapeno in now. No. Do you smell that, folks? Let's put all of our spices into one thing, because we're gonna add that in a minute. I didn't do this either. This is tomato paste, because it said that you're supposed to put that in there, even though the history behind this is that they didn't have tomatoes. Do we have a little thing of it? Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I couldn't find the tube in the store. It's in a box. Don't worry about it. Uh, it also calls for some cumin. It called for a bunch of different spices, but I didn't have the patience to go find all of it. And I knew that we only had a couple things, but I'm gonna put in a fourth of a teaspoon, no, half a teaspoon, a cumin. It's fine. Uh, allspice, what's in allspice? All the spice. How are the onions? They're very probably burned. This cayenne, which is expired, but apparently, what do spices expire? That's my cat, you know bruiser, look at him, he shaved. Okay, we put all the spices in here. They're in there with the tomato paste. That's all gonna simmer down in a minute. I'm also gonna put in a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of water. It called for white vinegar, but I don't think we have it. The main ingredient, the, 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 the whole reason. Oh, these are really very overripe. Oh yeah, that's very ripe. Get some bananas. You know, this is perfect if you have uh, overripe bananas like I have and mash them up. Oh, this is gross. Oh, this is gross. It's at a cup, which is, I guess, two bananas. Some recipes call for like four or six. That's too many. Uh, mash this up with the spoon. Spoon. I think that's pretty good. Let's put everything in the pot now. Use too many utensils, because that's my life. Put all the things in the pot now. Uh, start with your spices. Use the same spoon, because it's all going to the same bowl. Let's put the bananas in. Listen to that sizzle. Boom. And uh, boom, boom. Uh, I'm gonna put in the soy sauce now. And I'm gonna put in a little bit of water. We're just gonna mix this up a little bit and we're gonna let it simmer down a bit. Oh, that's kind of looking like it's supposed to. Maybe. Let's let this simmer down for a bit. 
Hello, welcome back. Look at it now. Let's puree this up. It's hot still. This is fine. No. Just put that into this. I'll cut that out because that's gross. <laughs> I think you need a food processor, but we don't have one. Okay, uh, I don't get to use the blender very often, so... What? That's on there! Down. I got it! Plug it in. Plug it in. Who had a clapper? Now, you apparently just need to blend it. The cat has many concerns. Let's see how it looks. It smells like bananas and a lot of spices. Earlier I picked my nose when we weren't filming and I got spice in my nose and now it hurts a lot. I think this is good. Here's the good stuff. Get in here for this shot. Oh my God, look at it. It's still really lumpy. Sometimes we're all a little lumpy, okay? I know I am. There we go, folks. We, we did it. Here is our lovely banana ketchup. The last thing to do is to taste.